They are both blinking red, over and out. Bogey on the two, niner, niner, 53. <laughs> <laughs> fighting zombies or are we fighting aliens? I, I, just... I think they were people and then this is a really old screen that's like purple. Now see up here on the earth. Oh yeah, it's yeah, like I see. It's like silver paint. Yeah. I dig this era of Batman where Bane was like just stretching out Batman's clothes as a, as a prank. He would just come home and be like, yo man, all my fittings are all messed up. Yeah, right. You see this guy? Yeah. He's like, what? <laughs> How is that in GI They went, yeah, it got a little ridiculous. So many good figurines. So Golden Boy, we're here at Hops and Heroes in the Austin Toy Museum, one of the only nonprofit comic book shops in the universe. Can you trace your lineage as kind of a nerd, as a gamer, to toys, to pop culture, to stuff you had as a kid? Like, where did it yeah. start for you? Without a doubt, my brother is, is the reason why. He was into Voltron, Thundercats, Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters. He loved all of that. And I think that's what's cool walking around a place like this is that it does such a fantastic job of preserving basically all the cool stuff that we grew up oh, with. Oh yeah, for sure. And the way it compartmentalizes and shows off all those themes, it'll take all of these G.I. Joes, put them in one display, and all these Star Wars toys, put them in one yep. display. And it's the kind of thing that you didn't have when you were a kid. You would dream of it. You would watch commercials where the kids had 40 toys. Well, I never even thought about displays though, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, I just always thought about playing yeah. with my toys. And, and the best part about it, it was that you, made like your own world, right? Yeah. Like I'd have all these different figurines, like all you know, like fighting for supremacy in the universe. And it was a storyline that was only generated within my head, right? Yeah. And no, totally. And playing with toys as a kid was basically like if Marvel and Infinity War had the, the likeness rights to every Saturday morning cartoon. As an adult, we could do that. Yeah. It would just, we would look weird. I think we kind of still do that with like, video games yes. and literature and comic books and graphic novels and all this stuff that is here just shapes our creativity mm -hmm. in the future. And I think that is what makes it so awesome. That's what makes being a nerd just great. Yeah, it rules. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's never stop being nerds. Yeah, never. <laughs> never. Let's go be nerds more. Yeah, <laughs> more nerds <laughs> all the time. All the time. I'm gonna buy this whole store. This brings me back. Yeah, this is this is magical. I just wanna like just take this in. Cause this is like, this is everything to me. Yeah. I had that job of the hut as a kid before I saw the movie because a, like a neighbor gave it to me. Yeah. And it's terrifying because when you lift him up, there's a trap door underneath that's like full of like skeletons and stuff like that. <laughs> Oh, it was cool like when they did Alien vs. Predator. Like I watched that movie because it was just a straight up action flick. It was like Freddy vs. Jason, you know, just, I mean, that was a dumb movie. So Golden Boy, did you see anything in this museum that like you can specifically tie to your lineage as a nerd now? Like anything that you were like, I had that and that's why I'm like this now. Superman's like actually my favorite superhero. As a kid, I used to always be about like getting the different Superman action figures that mm -hmm. had different themes attached to them. And I always thought it was like kind of ridiculous. What does Superman really need to have like an Arctic costume oh, it's for? Totally ridiculous. For something like that, like is it necessary? Yeah. But I used to love that stuff as a kid. I actually used to like collect like some of like the various Superman costumes. I'm definitely all about long hair Superman, by the way. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I, I, I like, I appreciate like all the different looks that Superman has gone through over the years, but something about this, I just, just made sense. Yeah, this is like the 80s WWF hair. It's like <laughs> My love for Superman just goes so deep as a, as a, as a fan of, of the character that, you know, I would even go as far as to like, you know, talk about the fact that Man of Steel is like a really good movie, oh, we're gonna do this low now. key. We're gonna do this we're right now. We're talking about Man of Steel. Here's the thing that bothers me, okay? A lot of people just don't seem to like understand, uh -huh. Brian, like why Man of Steel is the way that it is, right? He's gotta learn, he's gotta develop, he's gotta grow, right? Mm -hmm. You don't just start off being like an amazing superhero. You actually have to learn and, and understand like the world around you. And he destroys like all of Metropolis fighting Zod, right? And, and you know, maybe it would've looked dope in an Arctic costume, I don't know. I respect how passionate you are about this. Yeah. Yeah. Man of Steel, they, what they started with was really good. I agree. And, and that's why like, ever since I was a kid, I've always loved Superman because there are different directions that you can go in that 
make it exciting. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I, ha Superman. I had this book. Yeah, me too. So I went, my- Oh, my, this is the return of This Superman. is the return. Yeah. My, my stepfather worked at a uh, tax like firm, right? And for some reason, this tax firm sold comic books. What? Yes, I don't, I don't understand why. Um, and they had the entire line of the death of Superman, everything, and it was like ten dollars. And my my stepfather picked it up, and I was an idiot kid, so I had like no idea. And I I Opened I up. wish I would have. Kept, I may even just buy this. It's ten dollars. I think I might just buy this because this is like this is like my childhood. Death of Superman was like such a great arc and I actually saw like a couple of those books here, like just such really, really engaging stories that you can tell. And you know, then maybe we do get the Arctic Superman Someday. costume. <laughs> Good thing that the Toyota Corolla just has some amazing left turn capabilities. That's true.